My name is Katrina Adams and I'm from McGill University and we are currently sailing into Paradise Bay and it is certainly a paradise. We're seeing these huge icebergs surrounding us and there's seals everywhere. I'm here um, as part of a course in oceanography, but it's also been a dream of mine to come to Antarctica for a number of years, since I was 12 actually. I think this is a life-changing experience. I think every, every experience is, is going to change a little bit of who you are, but especially in the poles, because these are really different types of areas in every single way, whether it be the glaciology, the landscape, the geology, the wildlife. They really make you rethink who you are and where you, where you stand in this entire ecosystem on Earth. So now we're gonna put down the plankton net so we can drag it through the water and find out what kind of zooplankton are living down here below us. Uh, my name is Nihel Lantanubi. I'm from Egypt originally, but I go to McGill University in Canada. I'm here in Antarctica because I'm enrolled in a, an oceanography course uh, with Dr. Eric Galbraith and we've been trying to measure ocean salinity and temperatures and I think these measurements are going to help us in creating a, a data set of what has been ha what's happening now and maybe we can compare it with previous uh, measurements that have taken over that were taken over the years so we can get an understanding of how much change has happened so we've been getting out in the zodiacs every day in order to take a look at what's going on in the ocean around us. The main thing we're looking at is how the physical environment in the ocean allows phytoplankton to grow, which then provides food for everything else that we're seeing here. So when we get a lot of nutrients coming up to the surface of the ocean, in combination with a lot of sunlight and a nice warm surface layer, we can get huge blooms of phytoplankton. Phytoplankton are food for zooplankton, starting with little copepods and also krill, which are really the most important species in the Antarctic ecosystem. And then those guys really provide food for all of the bigger things that we're seeing around here. The penguins, the whales, the seals. I think people need to realize that the poles are closer than we think. Um, people think of the poles as really far away places that we don't have an effect on or an impact on and that don't really impact us. But that's not true at all when you think about it. Um, for example, here in Antarctica, we have two of the largest water masses that feed 75% of life on Earth. And that's something that's pretty amazing. And I think it's really important to know that everything cycles through and is connected and we need to preserve these areas. It's been really exciting sharing this experience with the students along the trip. There's really there's a lot of enthusiasm. We've all been learning a huge amount about this environment together. Yeah, it's been really amazing um, being part of a course while experiencing all this because I really like hands-on things and it's been really, really hands-on. It's really cool to look at a landscape and just have this new understanding of what it actually means, not just seeing it in kind of a superficial way, which is why I wanted to go on this trip, because I didn't want to just look at a glacier and be like, oh, ice. I wanted to look at it and understand all the different patterns and how it formed and where it came from and where it's going and all of that. And you definitely get a better sense of everything through the courses. To go to the classroom and to, uh, to learn about oceanography in the field, especially in the Southern Ocean, which is such an important ocean, has been a really great really great learning experience. I've been able to get hands-on with the, the instruments and actually measure, see what's going on. It's, it's probably the best way to learn and I really feel that I've, I've learned way more than I have back home in the classroom. <laughs> I've learned scientific notions. I've learned a lot about oceanography. I've learned a little bit about paleoclimates. I've learned some things about glaciology that I never knew before. I've, but I've also learned life experiences and things that you that you know when you're on, with a team and building a team in, in such a special environment. I've learned um, all sorts of skills and I think these are tools that I'll keep with me for the rest of my life. <laughs>